What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube, Cat Beta. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, for those of you who are just coming, I right now make videos of uh, gauging my ears up right now, so it's piercing videos, basically. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ear care video for those of us who might have just started out and want to know how to clean their ears, you know what I'm saying? For me, I'm at a two gauge, so it's not that hard. And I'll show you how to put in a silicone jewelry as well because that's what I'm currently wearing. So I'm gonna show you, it's super, super simple. Here are the supplies. So now this is, it's, it's, dude, it's super simple. Like how do you not know how to wash something? You've, you've, you've done it all your life, washing things, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that paper towel, right? Handy dandy paper towel, boom. And for those of you whose ear hasn't like fully healed properly, um, I would suggest you use something a little bit more, um, a little less harsh. So if you use soap, I'd use like bar soap or something. That's personally what I use when my ear was really like open, a little bruised a little bit. Uh, or you can just use whatever you got. You can try the salt water thing. You know, you just kind of hold it with, um, hold it with a little cup full of salt water, sea salt, non -iod no iodine in it, hot water. Hold it up to your ear for like two or three minutes. It'll clear it all out, all that good stuff. But keep the jewelry in, especially if it's a fresh piercing, just keep it in. For the rest of us that just need to know how to wash it, <laughs> here we go. Paper, we're gonna go put it in some water. Here we go, wet paper. Now we're going to take soap. Soap. <laughs> Who the thunk? Look at that soapy. Put it on your ear. I like this one, it has tea tree oil and a little bit of peppermint. I mixed mine, so it's not pure peppermint anymore. Oh, that feels good. Just like that. Ooh, look at that, soapy ears. Boom. Now we're gonna get another piece. You wanna know what we're gonna do with that? Clean off the soap. Whoa. Boom, another piece. You can also do this with your rag. It doesn't have to be paper towel or whatever clean cloth or item that you have to use that you can wet and put soap on and can use to clean, obviously. And then you go back and you get it. See, just like that, right in there. Let me use the other side, the side has soap on it. I don't have any right now, but you can also use the Q-tip method. One side has soap, one side has water. Scrub, 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 because mine is, once you get to two gauge, you can finally stick a Q-tip through your ear. If you wanted to know that, now you know. So you put the Q-tip in, scrub, 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 it goes throughout, blah, 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 boom. And that's how you clean your ears. So from there, I use a lot of paper towel. If this is for demonstration of purposes, I wouldn't use this much, okay? You dry this off. Sorry for the crunchiness of the paper towel, but that's part of the process. Okay, it's all dry. Now we've come to part two. Ooh, oiling the ear. You want your ear to have ample lubrication because I've been here before where I did not lubricate my ear. You wanna know what happened? Go look at the video when I went up to, what was it, four, either four or six. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Just make sure, just make sure. Okay, so boom. Ears are nice and lubricated, see that? We got oil here, we got oil there. If you have your balm or whatever you might have, you might not have oil, you might have that ear balm or whatever, use that. 
but whatever lubricating, lubricating thing that you have, use it. All right, so I have here what I've been wearing. Ooh, silicone. Because I had uh, these here for the longest time and after a while my ear just didn't seem to want to close. Not close, but it didn't seem like it was healing. So I was like, uh, let's try something different because that metal doesn't, seems to be reacting with my ear in a negative way. So I went out and got some silicone. These are the ones that I got from Hot Topic. You know what I'm saying? You want to get something legit because you know, there's good silicone and there's bad silicone. Germs, transfer, things, stuff like that. But anyway, this is what I got. I got the pair, obviously. And this is what you do, because it seems like some people don't know how to do it. I'm gonna show you what my method. What I do is crush it and fold it, just like that, okay? If your ears are newer, I don't know if your ears will stretch so much for this. I'd give it a week or two before you switched into some silicone jewelry. Honestly, just so your ear can settle into the size. Then go ahead and grab these, put them in. It helps your ear heal a little bit better and my ears don't stink as much. I wear the metal jewelry, two days in my ears are lit. This, I can wear for a little while. I still wash my ears every day, but if you miss a day of washing with the metal one, it ain't working. But anyway, it's folded over. This is my ear, I'm gonna get you nice and close so you can see what's going on. Or at least attempt to see what's going on. Stick it through the hole till you get one flare out and then let it go. And just like that, it's in. And just to uh, finish out the demo, I guess, same thing on the other side. I don't have another way to put this in. I guess you could try the squeezing it and shoving like an edge in at a time in, time consuming. Double this guy up, hold your ear. You can also stick it through the back. I guess I'll show you sticking it through the back so you know what it looks like as it's going through. So push it through, you should see it pop out, or you should feel it, let it go, and it's in. And just like that, you can put in your jewelry and your ears are now clean. You can go about your day feeling fresh and clean. All right, guys, thank you. I'll see you later.